to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Caro and I share delicious foods from scratch here as well as my food blog caroha.com. Today we're going to make some frozen treats using only three ingredients and 10 minutes of hands-on prep time. So come on over and let's get started. First off, we're going to make frozen Greek yogurt with honey stewed berries. We'll need two cups of yogurt. This is the yogurt I showed you a couple of weeks ago in my meal prep video. One cup of frozen berries and a quarter of a cup of honey. Add half of the honey to the yogurt and mix it in. I like to leave some streaks of yogurt in the honey. Cover a small cookie tray with parchment paper and add the yogurt mixture to the paper. Spread out the yogurt mixture with the back of a spoon until you have the desired thickness. Mine is about a quarter inch or half a centimeter. Add the frozen berries to a small saucepan and add the remaining honey. Stew the berries for about 5 minutes on medium heat. Puree the berries to your desired consistency. Add the honey stewed berries to the yogurt and swirl it in. Freeze it for at least 4 hours until the yogurt is hard. Break up the frozen yogurt bark into bite sized pieces and store it in an airtight container for up to a week. Next we're gonna make pina colada popsicles. Again for this recipe you only need 3 ingredients. A small can of pineapple rings and syrup, half a tin of coconut milk and 2 tablespoons of honey. Drain off the syrup of the pineapple rings and add it to a blender alongside the coconut milk and honey. Blend until you have your desired consistency. I like it a little bit lumpy to have some frozen pineapple chunks in the ice blocks, but if you are after a smoother consistency, simply blend it for longer. Add the pineapple coconut mixture to your popsicle molds and freeze for at least 8 hours. Gently remove them from the molds and enjoy! Our final frozen treat is an ice cream marble cake. We'll need two cups of heavy cream, one small tin of condensed milk and quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. Whip the cream on medium speed until soft peaks are forming. Make sure not to over mix the cream at this point or your ice cream mixture will be grainy. Add the condensed milk to the whipped cream and gently fold it in. Add two thirds of the ice cream mixture into a loaf tin that you line with plastic wrap. Add the Dutch processed cocoa powder for a dark rich color. Pour the chocolate mixture on top and smooth it out with the back of a spoon. Use a fork and create large swirls using a circular motion. Cover the ice cream loaf cake with the remaining overlapping plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 6 hours. Add the ice cream loaf cake to a cake plate and cut off slices and serve. You can find the full recipe in the description box below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also sign up to my newsletter where I share delicious food from scratch every couple of weeks. Thanks again for watching and I see you next week.